Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about a named reaction that is Gotterman Koch formulation reaction. The Gotterman Koch reaction is a formulation reaction of benzene or derivative of benzene. The Gotterman Koch reaction is a chemical reaction in which an aromatic compound are formulated to produce an aryl aldehyde by using carbon monoxide and hydrogen chloride as reactants and the whole reaction is catalyzed by Friedel-Craft Lewis acid that is aluminum trichloride AlCl3 in presence of trace amount of Cu plus ion generally Q plus chloride Cu2Cl2 now the overall reaction is when an aromatic compound here it is benzene treated with carbon monoxide and hydrogen chloride and aluminium trichloride AlCl3 as a catalyst in presence of Q plus chloride Cu2Cl2 here is the overall reaction so the aim of this Gotterman Koch formulation reaction is to attach a carbonyl group or aldehyde group on aromatic ring what is the mechanism of this Gotterman Koch formulation reaction now let us go to the mechanism here in the first step carbon atom of carbon monoxide gets protonated to form a positive charge species and a negative charge species that is tetrachloroaluminate AlCl4 minus after this after this positive charge species under resonance to give this one and it acts as an active electrophile and the second step benzene attack to this carbon atom and this bond opened up and this charge neutralized to form this carbocation intermediate and this is slow step after losing proton it will give benzaldehyde and this is this step is very fast what is the role of q plus chloride cu2cl2 the formulation of aromatic compound can be derived by the treatment with carbon monoxide and hydrogen chloride in presence of Lewis acid the reaction is performed either under pressure or using copper chloride or anhydrous aluminum chloride whose role may be collaborate the reaction between carbon monoxide and hydrogen chloride via the complex which it forms with carbon monoxide so copper chloride or anhydrous aluminum chloride act as a promoter to speed up the reaction now let us go to discuss about the application and scope of gotterman koch formulation reaction gotterman koch reaction cannot be applied to low reactive compound than halogenobenzene or aryl halide and for the nitrobenzene is inert and it can be used as a solvent for this reaction the Gotterman Koch formulation reaction also unsuccessful with phenol and phenolic ethers because the Lewis acid used for this reaction to form complex with the phenolic oxygen. Another drawback of this reaction is that polyalkylated benzene undergo rearrangement during this formulation by this process that is paraxylene with the treatment of the same reagent that is this one and they give 2,4 dimethyl benzaldehyde that is rearrangement product thanks for watching have a nice day